Hey guys, what's up? It's Matchpoint here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the operator, Dokubi. So, I'm sure many of you right now are questioning why I've, why I've specifically chosen Dokubi out of all the other operators. Well, it's because most people out there don't actually know how to play Dokubi properly. So in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly that, and you'll be, at the end of this video, a great Dokubi player. So let's get into the review. As you can see, she is a two-speed, two-arm operator. And her loadout has a MK14 EVR and the Boss G. I'd recommend the MK14. You should run an ACOG, a compensator, a vertical grip, and an underbarrel. Her gun is a semi automatic assault rifle. And as you can see, the secondary option for the primary is a Boss G, which is basically like a sniper shotgun. And I'd recommend it if you're fairly decent with shotguns and you like them. For her secondary, she's got a C75 Auto, isn't the greatest, but she does have an SMG-12, which is really good if you can control the recoil. You should run a holographic, an underbarrel, and a vertical grip. Now let's get into testing these guns out. Now as you can see here, she's got a semi-automatic assault rifle, and it does a lot of damage with each shot that gets taken. And if you guys have got a quick trigger finger, or if you're going to be using this gun, I'd recommend learning to get a quick trigger finger, as you can rapidly fire these shots and do lots of damage. Her SMG has a lot of recoil, and in this clip I'll show you how. As you can see, it goes in an S-shaped pattern, and it contains lots of recoil. But if you can control it, you'll have a very strong secondary on your hands. Now let's get into more detail about her gadgets, abilities and equipment. So, her ability is to be able to call defenders. Now what this does is if you're a defender, is it comes up with a buzzing noise and it'll be ringing and it'll be a phone that you'll have to answer unless you want that buzzing noise to continue. Now it takes about 3 seconds to disable the noise and it's very useful in revealing where operators are and distracting them. Now as you saw just there before, I used it to see if I could gain any knowledge on where they are and I heard that there was a lot of operators around me so instead of going that way, I'm going to come down this way and we'll go in through a new entry point. Now I'm going to come in through here and we just got shot at and we down him and we secure the kill. Now as you can see there's a phone down there and you can tell that by the phone symbol right there. So we're going to go and hack it. And this will give us access to defender cameras. And now we'll be talking about this in more detail later on. And we pick up another kill there. As you can see we've scanned the enemy here so our teammates know where they are. And where we so we know where they are. We're going to get our drone in a safe spot. We get a cheeky glimpse of his head there, but we don't pick up a kill. We give him a call to distract him. And I'd also recommend calling the, um, the defenders, especially when your teammates are going into the objective. But I'd recommend only using this if you're in a team communicating, as you'll know when they're in trouble and know when they're near the objective and need that extra information. And we pick up the kill there with that headshot. Now we're going to call them again to distract them, as we're going to be pushing in here. We throw a smoke grenade, which is why we picked that equipment over the stun grenade. And we'll get into more details on that later on. So we're going to hop back on our drone here. And we do see that there's a pulse there right by that window. So instead of coming through the main entrance, which is predictable. We're going to come through this side window here. And it's not actually Pulse we find. It turns out to be Cade. And we pick up the kill on him. Now in this next clip, we're going to be hacking the cameras and using our ability to our advantage again. I get on my drone here, and the room looks pretty clear. It looks like there's no one in there. So we're going to come down here to the window. 
and we're going to give the defenders a call as we're going to be pushing in here and we want to distract them. I would always recommend using your calls when you or your teammates are just about to push into a room. Get back on our drone to check, no one's in there. We clear the room and we get shot at through there and it says Chanka. But we don't peek it because if we did, it'd be risky and we'd get our head shot off. So instead I'm going to hold this angle down for my teammate to cover his back. I'm going to keep on holding this angle and ideally our teammate should pick up the kill but he doesn't. And now we see a cap cam running past, we get a tag on him. And now there is a phone down there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a smoke grenade there, one into the objective. And the smoke grenades are dead useful for getting these camera hacks. So now we'll get into some more information on what the cameras actually do. So once you hack your phone and a phone is dropped by a defender every time they die, if you're playing Dokubi you can see the phones and it's a symbol like a phone like you saw before. So once you hack them basically the role of the camera switches between the defenders to the attackers. So the attackers can now use the cameras that were originally owned by the defenders to spot um, defenders. So we're in a tight situation here, it's a 2v3, I'm going to give them a call to gain some more knowledge. And at the moment we're boxed in. Now there is a, uh, there is a phone down there, but we can't really do much as we're being surrounded from both sides, we're just going to have to hold these angles down. As you can see, shots coming out through there so we know there's a guy in that hallway. Again, we're bo kind of boxed in here, we can't do too much. And there is a phone down there like I mentioned before, but instead we can get back on our drone and we're going to gain some more information. no one in that hallway there's the phone again and we do manage to spot a rook right there and we know he's there now so we're feeling more confident about this push so what we're going to do is we're going to use our smoke grenades which is why you should always pit them over the stun grenades we're going to throw one there so we don't get rushed out on we're going to throw another one there now i messed up here my smoke grenade was wasn't the greatest, it didn't cover the phone really, but I committed to the hack and hacked the cameras. And now this means that our teammates, that, are, that three of them are all dead, they can go on the cameras for us and gain some more knowledge. Now as you can see here, we're communicating with the Montaigne. We know that Montaigne can get an easy plant there, because the shield like there will protect him from the, de the defenders which are behind him. Now I took another smoke down, we've planted the diffuser. And my role here is just to watch the window. Now I'm going to call the defenders to distract them. And I've just got to keep watching this window in case anyone jumps out. I've got another smoke grenade. I'm going to throw that one in there. And someone jumps out right there. We accidentally do team kill, but we pick up the kill there. And it goes down to a 3v1, but it's okay because we've got a tight angle on this diffuser. And we'll win the round. Now, in this clip here, you'll see the usage of Dokubi's gun. We pick up a kill there with the rapid fire of the trigger finger. There is a camera there, but that's not the best play, play to go for considering we've got uh, another four defenders to watch out for and hopefully they'll just rush out which is why I'm waiting here Now it's unlikely we'll get one more coming from that window again as we've just killed his teammate I'm gonna give them a call to distract them and gain some more knowledge on where they are and one does run out But head straight back in as I've just called him And we do pick up the kill on the Ella
No, I'm going to give them another call as I'm about to push into the objective. I push into the objective and you'll see the usage of the call and Dokubi's gun right here as we kill the mirror. And I hope you guys have now seen what Dokubi can do and how to use it properly. And I hope this review has been very useful to you. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.